Hello, you are welcome to my channel. This is day three of the Practical Church Flyer Design Challenge. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this flyer that you are seeing here on my screen. But I would like you to please subscribe to this channel if you have not liked the video. You can also share this video to friends. Just copy the link below this video and share it to your friends. Also, don't forget to drop a comment at the comment section um, below. Alright, let's get started. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be making use of two apps, the Pixel Lab app and the Photo Room. The link to this app are in the description of this video, so you could go there and download it from there. Alright, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to be doing is to blur the um, two images at, at the background. So the app I'm going to be using for blurring is Photo Room. Click on it to see. So when you click on Photo Room, this is the first thing you are going to have is Premium photo room app if you download through the link in the description you would have this because the one on play store is quite different once you get here just click on this plus icon start from photo all right so i'm going to import the image i want to blur um this is the image i want to blur this app automatically removes background of images even if that is not the goal of what you want to achieve it helps you remove the background simply in this flat design i'm making um, I will be needing the background to be out of it so it has successfully helped me remove the background the next thing I'm going to be doing is to click on this right and then you go to the blur effect and then go to um, Gaussian Gaussian see that automatically helped me do that Gaussian let me just reduce you can decide to, to blur it to fade more this app is very very amazing now you can you can have different type of blur there is the motion blur we have the bouquet blur we have the gaussian we have the hexagon blur square blur blur box blur disc blurs the blur i'm making using this tutorial is the gaussian blur so let me reduce it a bit um, i think this is okay and right, so once you are done you click on this up this um, export icon click on it once that is done then you save to your gallery Alright, after it's saved, that's all we are doing on photo room. We're just blurring the image on photo room. I'll then go to my pixel lab. This is my pixel lab app. So the first thing I'm going to do is to edit the size of this canvas. Go to your image size. The size of this um, flyer design is um one one five one to one two a zero. Then you click on OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is to import my um background from my image from my gallery so here is it import the blood background right all right this is it but i'm going to crop crop out the wanted part i only want the head and part of our body so here is it so but we can't use it like this i have to edit the the image you go to color filter then you reduce the saturation to minus 100 then you give it contrast let's say contrast helps you lighten your image you to give it that silver color look then once that is done you duplicate so you copy it and then go to crop for to give you a new a different direction go to crop yes then all that to just place them at the different sides okay so this is it once that's done just lock lock so then let's import the next image from gallery Alright, this is the image. This image also you remove the background. His background is out of it, but it is not blurred. Alright, so this is it. So this is it. Let's make it to be at the center. So the next thing I'm going to do is to also work on the color, reduce the saturation, and give it contrast. The same ratio of contrast, 29. Alright, so you can see this bright silver look if it's on if, if it was ordinary it wouldn't have been okay but this is makes it very nice let me give it let me increase the size the more all right so let's be at the center 
so when that is done i'll then get my shape follow every process please get your shape then i'll spread it across this part then you go to gradient click on your plus icon click on this part make it black dark and go here and make it transparent right. let me increase it increase it in here. so you can see once that is done you then lock it all right you lock it this also this actually helps you help the edges it helps to cover the edges this edge part all right and also to give way for the text that will be coming up so but the image of this lady is up let me work on it. this image is here yeah, it wants to be done So then let me work on this just follow every process then you lock so okay let's bring it up We import the light. So this is the light. So but I'm going to I'm going to place this up. Then copy this and place it here. I'll give it a different color. Let's see on a yellow kind of color. Start. So let's let's start writing the text. Alright, this text is great. So, but the font for this is let's go to the fonts to change the fonts. L style. The link to get this font is in the description of this video. Then you rotate. With my minus five, the great then D. Copy the same one and edit. Just to edit, you can double click to edit. To copy, you click on this part to copy, and you can also edit here instead of double clicking. You can either click on it. great achievements copy again double click and make your text achievements achievements and grace then copy achievements and receive grace And copy again, copy from here. Let's reduce the size. This right top, copy again. Go to size, reduce the size. So I would import the icons. So let me copy, place it. Make sure they are aligned. The grid to, to do that, but in this tutorial, I will not be using any grid. 
you could use your grid to do it so from here change the directions to the other side that's how it is change the directions you need to change it before copying all right you change it before copying the once that is done you will click on this you merge them merge three all right then give it a color a gradient color the color i use for this is from the background just choose a dark and a bright color from the background so that's it done. let me give this a color a white color all that is done we then merged merge all together then reduce the size bring it here then give it a rotate this size more all right so this is it so after then let me arrange this also remember is this also is on uh, rotate minus five degree all right so let me bring in this also the other icon Here is it. Let's give it one by one. I'm gonna give it gradients one by one, one after the other. This is it. Right. Click on color, give it gradients, same gradients. Also color it more and level and give it gradients. Let's make this white. White. And so once that is done, we then merge all. Merge them. Merge them and rotate to minus five or so. Make sure that the center is aligned. Yes. I saw that it's almost ready. So once that's done, let's do the, the last set of text. So I'm going to copy from the conference copy and the women's fellowship. Alright, but, but for this, let's reduce the rotate a bit. Alright, this minus minus two should be okay. Then the next word, copy from this women's fellowship text. Copy, click on. You can see reduce the text and make sure it's at the center the name of the host this time is a different font and um, right, host make to me personal the link to this font also is a will be in the description of this video Double click and write the name of post. Alright, so there is it. Let's reduce the line spacing. For the host, give it a gradient color. For the this is nice. So this is the end of this video. I hope you learned lot watching this once you are done you then save to your save to your gallery as image save as image to your gallery please if you haven't subscribed kindly ensure you subscribe like the video
um drop a comment at the comment section below share to friends thank you very much for watching see you in the next video goodbye